Yeah, Abby's. My last episode was the first time I went kiting with my new Ozone Chrono 18m Ultralight. That time the winds dropped to zero which was really unlucky. But this time I've got a steady 7 knots and over, so I'm ready to get to know this kite combined with the foil board. Here we go! and jibes when you're just learning the foil board, they seem like rocket science. But even just turning the board around in the water with my foot, as you can see here, feels like I've already learned something useful. Right on the first go, I got myself out to sea pretty far, where the wind seemed quite a bit lighter now. I'm really hoping I can get myself water started again to get back. Sending it into a quick looping helped a lot there. Now as I accelerate, the apparent wind picks up too and I find myself really powered up. As it is the first time in this situation with this new kite, I decide to just drop myself in the water before hitting the shallow sands around here. <laughs> here I'm setting the kite for more power to make the water start easier so that I can then depower once I'm up on the foil. Getting out to sea this time, the wind actually starts to pick up. One or two white caps are showing on the water now. So I depower the kite completely and put the foil board flat on the water to get myself more drag to slow the thing down. Then I'm getting back easily, but I get myself wiped out because I'm not controlling the new kite properly. This session being the first one with a new kite on the foil board and with enough wind, I really need to get used to steering this kite. It flies down a lot more at the edge of the wind window compared to my fly server speed 3. It needs more positive input to fly back up again. It just takes a bit of time to get used to. Also here, you can see when the kite is fully depowered, you need quite a bit of input to get the kite to respond. Quite normal behavior, but it's a lot more pronounced in this kite than what I'm used to. 
as you are foiling along and actually start getting some real time up on the foil it's very easy to drift too far upwind you then need to go deep downwind to get back to where you started it's almost the opposite of learning regular kite surfing going downwind feels very wobbly the kite feels really light of course so it's much more about balancing on the board alone That was a good time. Now I've got this new setup tuned in, it's just a matter of doing it over and over again and get comfortable. The next session, a few days later, was at a place called Alwakra Family Beach, pretty much my home spot, with a gorgeous sunset backdrop. The session after that, I'm back at the desert spot called Sea Line. I started a bit too shallow and wiped out before doing any foiling at all. I then found out that with the wind direction, together with the amazing upwind ability of the foil board, I could just parallel the shoreline and keep going for miles and miles. That was really awesome. Of course, any good session should end with a proper wipeout. Of course, I also had my fair share of good forecast days that ended up in no wind at all. I feel so maybe two to three knots, cannot be more. Forecast is eight to maximum twelve. So I just brushed up a bit on my vlogging skills, but I'll keep that for later. After all that practice, I finally got round to mounting the camera properly on the lines. So now you can see my struggles a bit more clearly. Here's another fun session at Sea Line.
that's it for this time's video. There will be much more third person footage in the next episodes as I progress my foil boarding. Be sure to subscribe so I'll see you in the next one. Bye!